Well, welcome back. I've just finished putting on the landis cover. Uh, it took quite a while because I had trouble threading some of the string through. This is the uh, white nylon cord I use this time. Get my finger out of the way. Um, I've watched quite a few YouTube videos and it's, I think it's pretty much where it should be now. This corner here is supposed to have creases. I might put, put a little heat gun on that to try and sort of soften the plastic up a little bit because it's uh, quite hard to bend. So the back's will feet, I've got to clean the back window, it's a little bit grubby. So the rest of the cords will run through as they should do. I haven't actually tightened these turnbuckles up yet, I didn't want to pull it too tight. I just wanted to let it hang for a while, see if it would drop out a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad actually. The string itself, obviously it's a white nylon cord. Um, these ends here, I think I'll have to shorten these up a bit, but what I did, I used some of the um, heat shrink, you can see it or not. Focus. But yeah, that's like heat shrink. It's only sort of a heat shrink I had that's a that size. So I put the heat shrink on it, and on the end I will use a soldering iron and just melt at the end. But obviously these strings this size are a bit too long, so I'll probably will shorten them down to something something like that. Again, this corner obviously it's a bit tight. I'll see if I can loosen up a bit. It took quite a while to figure it out, but obviously this sort of goes through that strap there. That's that. Yeah, walk him around the side. The top was a bit of a pain because um, in here, my finger is, there's a cord that runs right way through there, and you have to hook it inside there, which I managed to do eventually. Front again. It's all clipped on. The cord, which is you can see through there, is actually already in there. I was going to change it for the nylon cord, but I'm glad I didn't there because uh, looking at the other land is it's supposed to have this flat stuff on it. Yeah, so that's all fitted. Not too bad actually. So I'll show you inside. Oh, the other bit. Let's see. I don't get this. this little piece here. I like to drill and tap. Put a bolt head in there, and you see it or not, because down there is supposed to be like a um, bit of rope, rope around it, but it's actually fallen off over the years. And I really didn't want to do any weld in there because it's right next to the fuel tank, so I went to a safe option. Maybe I'll just paint it in so it doesn't look quite so bright inside. Got the front straps in on the other. I'm not sure what this bracket here is, I don't know what that is. I don't seem to do anything as such. Uh, there's supposed to be like a little um, eye there for the strap to go through, but I'll put it through there instead. Let's see, yep, yeah. a few gaps in the back, but all in all, it's really good. The only thing that I did know it's broken, one of these straps is broken off of here. I'm not sure what to do about that. This is the cord from goes on the front that, that just needs tying up around there. That's it, that's all we have to do apparently. Nothing else to see really. No, that's all good, so it's almost finished. The only thing I'm bloody waiting for is a fan belt. You know, all I want to do really now is start the engine up and let it run to temperature for a while. And once it's up to temperature, obviously I'll lift it right off the ground, put the wheels on it, and go through the gearbox, make sure we've got all the gears. There's just one fan belt that's holding me up at the moment. Everything else is done. Can't think of anything else to do on it, there, you know. So, I'm going to bleed the brakes again. Probably going to do that. Might be do it tomorrow actually. Because there was a couple of small leaks I found. So, we'll uh, bleed them again. So, that's it. So, it's all, all things are looking good. Well, thanks for coming back. See you again shortly. Bye now.